Did you know that you can easily derive the double angle formula if you use the addition formula as your starting point? If we take the formula for sine a plus b as our starting point, and if we, we replace b with a, what we end up with is a formula for sine a plus a. In other words, a formula for sine 2a. We find that sine 2a is equal to 2 sine a cos a. You have here one thing plus the same thing, so sine 2a is 2 sine a cos a. If we use the formula for cos a plus b as our starting point, and if we replace b with a, we end up with a formula for cos 2a. And we find that cos 2a is just cos squared a minus sine squared a. Now, if we make use of the fact that sine squared a plus cos squared a is equal to 1, and if we rearrange that so that we have sine squared a as our subject, we find that sine squared a is 1 minus cos squared a. And if we rearrange this uh, original uh, equation so that we have a subject of cos squared a, we find that cos squared a is equal to 1 minus sine squared a. Now, if we make use of these substitutions, we can derive the rest of the double angle formula. Now, we found earlier on that cos 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a. If I replace cos squared a with 1 minus sine squared a, so if I replace what's red, shaded in red here with what's shaded in red here, we find that cos 2a is just equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared a. If I then make use of the fact that sine squared a is equal to 1 minus cos squared a, and I replace what's shaded in red here with what's shaded on in red here, we find that cos 2a is equal to cos squared a minus 1 minus cos squared a in brackets. In other words, cos 2a is equal to 2 cos squared a minus 1. And so we've used knowledge that we already have, so that being the addition formula and the fact that sine squared a plus cos squared a is equal to 1 to prove all four of the double angle formulae. So in summary, we have found that sine 2a is equal to 2 sine a cos a. We found that cos 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a. And using substitutions, we found that that's also equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared a and also 2 cos squared a minus 1. So there you have it. The double angle formula easily proved.